welcome back to the Psalm 40 Project. Just to let you know, next week we will be interviewing Chris Walkley, but we are now returning with Jolene to here. Yeah, let's let's talk a little bit about praying here at okay. LaGrave. What what are some of the avenues of prayer that are happening, especially some of those that people may not even know about? So right. We have the prayer partners for, for those who are baptized. Right, and so you just... Um, all, you're, and you don't have to like buy gifts and you know all of that. It is about praying and just being there for the family. You, one person per family, and um, you know just making sure you, you talk to these these children as they grow older and and check in with the families at church. How are things going? How can I pray for you? Just keep that relationship yeah. going. Just again, being family, coming together, making space for people. Um, so that that is really a fun way. That, we have the intercessory prayer team that's been mm -hmm. about two years old now, and there are 10 dedicated servants who come together, and that has really been exciting. And if anybody wants to, if anybody wants to join, <laughs> we still have room for more. But um, and that meets on Thursdays, the, uh, the first and third Thursdays okay. at noon, and so that's really neat because we have we pray do the ministry prayers, which are also is one of the new things is sent out electronically. Yeah. Um, and then we also do the prayers from the insert. Mm -hmm. And but um, the thing that has been really exciting, two things actually. One is the prayers that have come in through the prayer note cards that the people fill out during the service okay. that are in the back of the pews, because a lot of the things that appear in the bulletin are like illnesses or yeah. deaths. Mm -hmm. Um, there are people who are struggling with their children, with their jobs, with addictions, with so many things that you're not going to put in the church bulletin. Yeah, maybe that a need, little too public. Yes, and so they need to be kept confidential. And so then only the prayer team yeah. and the pastors, if it's indicated they want the pastors to know it, yeah. know this, and then it stays very confidential. So that has been neat to walk alongside people in some really difficult situations. Yeah. And that has been just a blessing. The other thing um, that has been happening, one of the members suggested that we pray over 10 families oh. every day. Every, oh. I mean, excuse me, every time we meet. And so um, <clears throat> then I take, I've been going through it using good old Alexio <laughs> and um, getting, you know, 10 families. And then what I did was I made it, and another member suggested this, made a little card um, that I put in the boxes of the people who are praying for. And, just, and it basically says, just so that you know, the prayer team will be praying for you for the next two weeks. If you have any specific prayer needs, please let, and they put my name in there as a contact person. And we have been getting so much response from that. Oh, really? Um, whether it's an, an, a prayer need or people just saying, thank you. Mm. Thank you for praying for me. I didn't even know that was a thing, and I'm on staff. <laughs> yeah, so, so that, but that's, that's new. That's yeah, brand new. Okay. So that has been really great. And then we also pray for um, three churches from our classes each time and one of the neighborhood churches. Okay. So that's kind of what happens during the prayer time. And, it's, and we also always begin with listening to Jesus first. We always listen to the Word of God and... Because too often in prayer, it's all about us talking to him. Yeah. It's, and, it, and it's not meant to be a one way. Okay. Yeah. And so we spend time first listening. Mm -hmm. And and that's that's been really, really awesome. So that has been there. Um, of course, you know, the prayer service has just been going on for a long time. Yeah. And it's just, uh, Deb Gores does a phenomenal job of lining that up. Um, and something new, I guess I could give a little preview. You hear it here okay. first. I'm not even sure what she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but I have approval, and um, I put together a 31-day prayer challenge. Okay. Have you heard about this? Yeah, I think you and I talked about it. Oh, that's it. right, we did. I wasn't 100% yeah. sure Okay, but that's where we're going. Where we're going. But... Um, anyway, uh, beginning in January, starting January 1, it'll, it'll go out to the whole congregation. Mm. And there'll be a name of a, one of our staff and a Bible verse that they can pray over them. Yeah. So one day we pray over, you know, Peter, one day over you, one day. And so it, the whole congregation comes together to pray God's word upon all of those who give of themselves to us. Yeah. So that'll be coming in January. So yeah. I'm really excited about and that. You and I are going to sit down and do a little bit of an instruction video. Right. Just a little bit of explanation of how to pray over 
right. or pray scripture over somebody. Right. Um, Looking so forward to that. Keep, keep an eye out for that. <laughs> right. Um, and then, of course, we have the um, Journey to the Cross yep. at Lent, mm -hmm. which is... Um, really been a, a real blessing and and I've got a ton of other ideas <laughs> that I'm trying to just slowly <laughs> yeah and that's and that's sometimes what people need to start seeing the benefit right of, of these things and even experience right themselves to be like oh yeah this is a very Im important item a very and important part of our spiritual life I know and it, it excites me to see us coming together as family and and lifting each other up in prayer because I know like when my husband passed, I, I don't know how I could have survived that yeah. without this church family yeah. coming alongside of me. And still, even even though it's been eight years for me, um, I still need my church family. Yeah. Well, and that's, you also have become part of the widow ministry right. here at, right. at the church, a widow, widow, her. widow connection. Yeah. <laughs> the one that I do is just for widows. Okay. Um, they, there is a new ministry for widow and widowers, but this is called the Widow, Widow's Connection. And so I, I try to do that about once, maybe twice a year. Yeah. Um, but also um, I speak at widow's conferences and things like that. Yeah. So that's a way, you know, God in His grace took something and that was not <laughs> necessarily pleasant, but is using it for His glory. Yeah. And, and so I'm very grateful to get to do that yeah. and, um, mm -hmm. and to have the freedom to do that here. And I really appreciate the support and Pastor Ruth and the Pastoral Care Committee and the way that they are trying to be creative and think of ways to support widows and widowers. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's an important topic here at the church. Yeah, it is, we it have. is. And a friend of mine challenged me too, uh, to maybe think about those who have been single all their lives. Oh. Um, you know, and what do we do? How, how do we minister to them with the grace of God? I'd, I'd be curious about that. Yeah, I way. would too. So <laughs> I love it. I love getting new challenges and new ideas. So yeah, yeah it's all good. Well, Jolene, that's sort of all the questions I had. Okay. Is there anything else that you'd like to mention? Maybe I didn't ask a question that you uh, feel is pertinent mm -hmm. to our discussion. I can't think of anything right now. Okay, that's fine. I okay, mean, yeah. We're hoping that this this Psalm 40 thing is going to keep going and rolling, and right. we can talk to all kinds of different people, get you back on, get okay. some other people back on, and because there are uh, people have very very in depth stories to tell, mm -hmm. and we just we, we can't tell them all in one right in right. one video. So, right. uh, folks, thank you so much for tuning in with us and listening to Jolene's story about uh, prayer and mentoring, and a little bit about how you came to the church and. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the impact uh, you're having at our church through God. Um, Thank you. There really, there really is a huge impact. If you, okay. if you guys can't see it, <laughs> which would be strange, uh, just come to serve one year <laughs> and you'll, you'll see it. So uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, God bless. Yeah.